Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part two of my Champions League jersey review. This time we're looking at last year's finalists, Spurs that I'm wearing, uh, mostly because that's the only team in this group that I have a jersey of. So there you go. Um, however, Spurs, despite making it to final, they are not the seeded team in this group. And I will run through the teams in this group alphabetically according to my alphabet. And that means we are starting with uh, Bayern, the German champions, who uh, we already looked in the Bundesliga jersey review. And I have to say that uh, the Bayern home jersey, yes, it's your red jersey. Um, it actually, the more I see it, the less I actually do like it because it's get the br the red gets a little bit too bright. It's mainly down to this pattern that should mimic the outside of the stadium, the Allianz Arena. Uh, and there gets a little bit too bright red, and then you have the collar and the shoulders. You know, all the accents are slightly darker red tone. So um, while I do understand you wanna pay a tribute to that. Um, it actually diminishes the jersey a little bit. I think if they choose a darker red, it would uh, have it a kind of uniform darker red. It would look a little bit better. But it's not a bad jersey per se. And in my Bundesliga jersey review, I gave it an appropriate seven stars that I will stick with. Uh, the away jersey though, I still do not like much. And I'm not sure how often we will see it in the Champions League. Um, what? With gray, weird pattern on the bottom, uh, doesn't work. It still does not work. The best thing about it is the crest that it really pops, but uh, you barely see this jersey on the white background here. Uh, yeah, it should be a green background probably, but it's not a good looking jersey. White and gray, nah, not for me. Four stars stick with that and the jersey that has grown on me the more i see it and uh, again this is one of the jerseys that if i look at it from a distance it looks absolutely awesome the navy and then these orangey um accents that really pop make it a great look as a contrast to uh, another team i really like the look of it uh how high on the close-up you see the lozenges in there that actually put me off a little bit yes uh, it reminds me of those traditional vests uh, and cloth that you wear in yeah, Bavaria, Austria and so on. So I understand the reference, but on a soccer jersey it just does not work that well and I also wish that the crest was not all that monochromatic. But it's a really strong looking jersey. I think it, I, I, I maintain it's the best of the bunch. I will stick with the eight stars, but this is a jersey that looks a whole lot better in play than it does look when you look it uh, up close and personal. But since I want to use both aspects uh, to give my grade, I'll stick with my eight stars here. Now we get to, to two teams that are twinned. And we're starting with uh, the Serbian team, Jervena Svesta, when I mean twinned, the fans are. The odd thing is that this jersey here, uh, so Red Star Belgrade, Červena Zvesta. I hope I say it right. At least this is how you would say in Bulgarian. Uh, this jersey debuted in the Champions League playoff in the return leg. In the first leg in Belgrade, uh, in ba uh, Bern. Getting my B towns messed up. They were wearing a slightly different jersey. I think it was last season jersey. This one here, that I saw for the first time in the return leg in Belgrade. And I have to say... I think it wants to give a nod to the 91 jersey where they won the um, back then Euro European Cup, nowadays Champions League. Uh, but I find, it, I find it, it leaves me wanting. I, the gradient is an interesting idea per se. So you have the red stripe and then it kind of bleeds out into the white, but it still then cuts it off. Let it bleed out a little bit more to give it a something. Uh, the sponsor. Yes, it probably gives a lot of money, but uh, it, that feel is too high. You have a little gas prom up there, and then you have this huge G sponsor. As a sponsor, it doesn't work. And the same thing goes for Schalke and all the other teams that use that sponsor. Especially in Stripe Jersey, it just leaves way too much space up there. Color, I think, is all right. As I said, the striping, I'd rather have it a solid striping. Um, if you have it like that, I mean, yes, it's something interesting to interesting to look at, but it leaves me wanting overall. For that reason, it's just too much wrong with it, and I go with four stars. 
The away jersey again is a navy jersey, but this time makes something interesting. And I actually I have to say I like this one uh, better. Navy, and then you have the red and white zigzaggy pattern, but not in a regular pattern. It's really random looking. The only downside is that it also hides the crest away. That you could have done something with that. Uh, give the crest a little bit more prominence. But other than that, I really like the color choice is great. And yes, I like navy, I like red uh, and white. I mean, the pairing is really nice. Uh, the white color with the red inside looks good. And then the zigzag pattern gives it a really nice visual interest. And here the sponsor is not as annoying, but I really think Gazprom should think of how they want to present themselves on soccer jersey it just doesn't look good but this one i think is a pretty good jersey i'm gonna give this um uh, is it right there it's right right there with the bayern jersey eight stars now the other twin team is olympiacos i mean those the fans are i saw it at the olympiacos home home game and i can understand it it's the same colors this is how a red and white striped jersey should look like i absolutely like this one uh Maybe the sleeves could be strapped as well, but for Adidas you have the three stripes down, so you have some branding additional, although there is some striping on, on, on the side as well. You have the sponsor also in red and white. You have the crest really pops nicely, even though it is the same colors. And then you have the shoulder, shoulder stripes. Again, the sleeves are made in white is maybe the only thing that I can complain about, but I really like this one. This is... Uh, a darn look good, good, good looking jersey. The only downside is that on the back it's a little bit more solid, but then it's yeah, with a kit regulations. Although I thought they changed those. Still, good looking jersey, I have to say. Uh, I'm gonna give this nine stars. The away jersey, it makes sense. Gray is not my favorite, but again, it makes sense here. And I like that the sponsor here is red and the crest is red. It actually could use maybe in the Adidas logo in red. Uh, that actually makes it a little bit better uh, than otherwise. Otherwise, it would be just a bland jersey from a template. Still, I'm gonna give this, let's say, five stars. It's just average. And then they have a third jersey that actually color-wise makes sense, but I don't like the template. I don't use the uh, the Germany template and then hide it uh, behind the sponsor. That's already the first mistake and then in general it doesn't make I, you could use a little bit more of this but i really don't like that they made this now in a template i didn't like it for algeria i don't like it for olympiacos i do like the color store on this one that kind of save it but i want to also give this the five stars as the uh, away jersey and then we're at Spurs, which we are looked in the Premier League jersey review. And for the home jersey, I really cannot say much bad, except that I don't like the collar. And this actually ruins the jersey. The collar would go around. I would like this jersey a whole lot. Yes, we can talk. The sponsor probably should also be navy, because, you know, why do we have Arsenal colors on a Spurs jersey? Probably pays a lot of money. Uh, it's not exciting. I actually, I do like this one better. Uh, although I know the Spurs fans will not like the uh, whole lot of na navy on the sides, but I actually really like this jersey that I'm wearing here. So this one, it's not a bad Spurs jersey, but I think it could be a little bit better for that. I stick with the seven stars. The away jersey, I could like this so much, but it references the um, Hummel jersey with the diagonal pattern again. Uh, why do we have purple on there? That's the one thing that I don't quite get. For me, the purple doesn't quite work. If you don't have the pattern and just have this as a navy jersey, I would absolutely love this one. But that way, it, to me, it distracts and makes the jersey actually worse. And see, we don't need red, the sponsor in red. We can have the sponsor also in white to fit nicely with the jersey. The Spurs logo, unfortunately, fortunately now can be changed the color. So actually, while it, you may say it looks monochromatic, it's monochromatic from, from the beginning. Uh, it's absolutely fine, but you know, with those purple patches, it just I have to knock it down a few notches and I stick with the seven stars. The best jersey is actually the third jersey, and it looks really great on the pitch. When they played at Olympiacos, that looked really nice. Uh, the patterning is maybe a little bit wild on there, that makes it for me uh, to not have a quite the perfect jersey, but as a Spurs away, away or alternate color, it makes a whole lot of sense. Um, I don't know if it's white or navy, but I actually I think I really like 
that combination. Uh, it pops. Maybe the navy makes it a little bit too dark and the pattern is a little bit too wild, but I really like this one on the pitch and I, I think this is a jersey that I could imagine wanting. I really love the color. It gives it this nice classy look. So overall this is a winner and I give and stay with my eight stars. Well, that's it for part two. Very soon, hopefully tomorrow, you'll get part three of my Champions League jersey review. Uh, up until then, please let me know how you like the jerseys in this, in this group. Drop a comment below whether you agree or disagree with me. I would like to hear from you. Also, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see the next parts of my Champions League jersey reviews, I've done jersey reviews for this season already for the Premier League, Bundesliga, La Liga and Serie A. Of course, I talk about everything that's currently happening and you see I have a this is only part of my jersey collection so you can see that as well I'm looking forward to part three I hope you do too and I'll talk to you soon bye hey there I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos or playlists that you might enjoy too also please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm gonna wish you a wonderful day. Bye.